Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. We want to know the whereabouts of our son, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, Yoruba Group Asking Presidency. A Yoruba group called Yoruba Unity Forum, YUF, which is a social political organization under the leadership of Achi Bishop Ayo has called on the presidency to know the whereabouts of their son, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in Asorok. The spokesman of the, miss of the group stressed that the Yoruba people demands to know the whereabouts of Professor Yemi Osibanjo, the vice president of Nigeria, who they have not seen or heard about in the past few months. And the group further said that they are calling on Asu Rock for the immediate release of their son, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from captivity. And the vice president of a country is meant to assist the president. But in this case of Buhari's administration, he has been boxed and we don't even know about where he is. We've not heard from him or known anything going on with him. We have not seen him, not even doing his job in the past months, or even carrying out any official duty. Where is our son, Buhari? The vice president and the president are supposed to work together as one unit, working together, making sure that the nation is run properly. But in the case of Buhari's administration, Professor Yemi Osibanjo is totally out of the picture. We don't understand what is going on. Rather, we see the president and his aides, his assistants, his own personal staff running the country. We have not heard from Yemi Osibanjo. Wherever you have put him or captured him, please can you release him? We are calling on the presidency today to please release our son because this is not a constitutional government. We are the president and vice president work together. In order governments where it is democracy, you see the president and vice president working together. But in the case of Nigeria, I don't know what to call it. Our son, Yemi Osibanjo, seemed to be missing in action and not even part of the governance of Nigeria. We only hear that the, that the president assigned him here and there, like his mere one of the errand boys and ask him to officiate one or two areas in governance. And even at that, he's been antagonized or criticized or said the job description given to him by the president does not matter. Just like what the wife of the president said in one of the committee where the president asked Yemi Osibanjo to head Aisha Buhari said she does not see the need for that project. So we are asking and calling on the presidency again. Where is our son? He's in captivity. Please let him go. Because what we see here is not democracy. Yemi Osibanjo is a professor and was elected in with you, Buhari. You did not nominate him as your aide or picked him up to work with you as one of your staff. Nigerians voted you both into power because they believe that the working together of both of you will make this nation great. Apparently, you have taken over power and the effect of the vice president is not seen. We don't even know if he's there. We ask the question again, where is our son? Please release him from captivity to the federal government of Nigeria. Whoa. These are strong statements, strong words coming from the Yoruba group asking for their son, Yemi Osibanjo. You will agree with me, not taking sides fair of, in, any, in any way fair or favor, that something is not right somewhere. In other countries, I will use America, one of the leading uh, countries of democracy. You will see that 
anytime Trump is standing, the vice president is always with him. They might not agree in everything, but you can see the synergy. You can see them working together. Not Trump's aides or personal assistants or his personal staff that he has employed to work alongside with him are those running the country with him. Even the Senate, the House of Rep, as we are mirroring American presidency, you know, they, they don't do that. The Senate, the House of Rep, they would have questioned and asked what is going on. Where is the vice president? In the case of Nigeria, the president decides here and there what the vice president should do. This is not right. It is not done in any democratic a community or environment unless it's not democracy yes delegate carry on and you do the country as you want but once it is democracy remember that the posters and when you guys came to us to initiate your um tenor when you guys came to us to propose and to when you guys came to us to sell your ideas of uh, your leadership which nigeria blindly believed in in 2015 and we thought that uh, your coming into power will help nigerians and will help the country to be better i mean we saw potential so everyone called you know voted here and there to make sure that uh, you guys get into power nigerians supported i know that it was not a majority i mean not everybody's idea but guess what nigerians supported nigerians you know felt that this was a a ray of hope a, 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 a fresh a, fre a breath of fresh air so everybody here and there gave their contribution even some people used their own money their own mouth to personally you know i i will tell you i was one of the big fans then 2015 i would tell you that good luck jonathan's uh, regime was failing you know but i tell you as you begin to as things begin to unfold you begin to recall and say did i really make the right choice and don't be ashamed to say, maybe I made a mistake here. Maybe I took the wrong turn. I apologize and I make amends. That's life for you. For anybody who cannot see when they make a wrong turn or, you know, they, those are proud people. I was one of those. They're not paying me. I go, they tell people, anywhere I go. Oh, the, the coming together of these two is a red gem. Nigeria will move forward. Osi Banjo is a professor well read a man of integrity like we heard about him uh, buhari that he has ruled nigerian before in the days of military and that buhari was a tough man who takes no nonsense the no nonsense man you know he was one person to bring about discipline order um, transparency in governance and nigeria will be better they came about telling us that they'll be paying the youth five thousand naira. they will give those in school scholarship they will assist here and there oh it was bright day and, uh, you know, and everybody was excited and say, yes, we got it right at last. And everybody, you know, here and there contributed, voted and did what they can to get you guys into power. But getting there, Buhari went abroad and told them that Nigerian youths are lazy, depending on oil money, do not want to work. Can you imagine the effrontery and the betrayer of people that you made believe in you and they went ahead to vote you into power? That is one of the biggest scams Buhari's administration has done. Okay, moving forward from there. Yemi Osibanjo was elected in with Buhari alongside not Aisha Buhari. We did not elect Aisha Buhari. Neither did we elect in the late Abakiari. He was Buhari's personal chief of staff. We have no business with that. Whatever they do is between them. But guess what? Now they can't rule the country. You know, go hear Osiba and your voice. You know, go even know if it exists. You know, so these were some of the matters that we began to see and to ah, we are like ah, ah, what's happening? Now, this was saying, where is our son? The only time we felt Osiba and uh, 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 we've seen Osiba and or felt him during these ten years of this administration is only when Buhari is not in the country. If I lie, I stand to be corrected. If I've misquoted you, please correct me i stand to be corrected you know so now the matter be that my people what do you think where is osi banjo yoruba group are asking the presidents you produce our son anyway not forget to thumbs up for us subscribe if you never subscribe like and share so that this news can travel far 
We want to say a big thank you to all of you who are out there always supporting us. You being there listening to our news gives us, a, you know, the, the courage to go on and to work more. We want to say a big thank you. At this time of COVID-19, we have a campaign saying, please look after your neighbor. Help somebody have a heart of gold. Show that you care. Thanks once again. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.